In this video, we are going to be engraving a photo on a piece of wood and a piece of metal using the 10 watt We Create Vista and the We Create Make It software. Let's talk about engraving a photo using the Vista and the Make It software. If you want a full overview on the software, be sure to check out my initial video. We touch on photo engraving just a little bit in there, but this is going to be a bit more in depth. First thing you want to know is that a good engraving comes from a high quality photo. So if you have professional photographer photos, those are going to engrave much better than ones you take from your phone. But today we're going to be working with a photo from my phone that I took and we're going to clean it up a little bit and turn it into a really great engraving. I like to use Canva to edit my photo before going over to the WeCreate software. So the first thing I'm going to do is upload this photo of a cat to Canva. And there's a lot of noise in the background. I want to isolate just the image of the cat that I'm going to engrave. I have Canva Pro, it's about $120 a year, and this is gonna open up a whole bunch of features for me, including a background remover. So with one click, I can completely remove the background from this photo. The next thing I want to do is change it to a grayscale. So I can go over to filters on the left and choose a grayscale filter. Depending on what software you're using, there's probably a bunch of different ways to do this, but creating black and white or grayscale is going to create a beautiful engrave for you. Now I can download this and save it to my computer and then upload it into the WeCreate software. Here in the WeCreate software, I have my 10 watt Vista connected and a piece of basswood in the machine. So I'm going to hit refresh and then I'm going to auto measure. And then I'm going to select the material that we're using. Now let's bring in that photo that we remove the background on. And I'm going to size this down to fit on my wood. When I click on the photo, I get a new set of options up here for editing this photo. The first one is edit image. We don't really need to do anything here, but there are some options here for removing a background and cropping your photo. They're not as precise as using an outside software like Canva, but they will help you remove some of the background if you need to. The next option under image processing is where we're going to do most of our work. So down here, WeCreate does a pretty good job of explaining what these things mean. So I am just gonna hover over this little question mark here. There are different parameters for engraving photos. And we create is showing us that if we're engraving softer materials, we're going to use some of these options down here. And if we're engraving harder materials, we're going to use these options up here. So this is saying if I'm engraving on wood, I'm going to use Jarvis. And I will say that I use Jarvis for almost everything I engrave. Uh, the other option you can do when engraving a photo is coming over to this grayscale option. This is gonna give us a really smooth, smooth look. And you can change these options in this drop down menu right here. And what you're going to see is a change on the right to the image that we're engraving. I am going to use Jarvis. I am not going to use a filter, but there are some different filters you can use here. We'll touch on that when we move over to engraving on metal. The line density here is 100, and that correlates to the DPI. So when I uploaded this photo, the DPI is 254. It's a little lower because it's not a super high quality photo, but I'm not going to change any of those right now. We are going to engrave this using some very basic settings. As with anything you're doing with your laser, I really encourage you to start with the most basic settings and then plan to do a number of tests from there. I have done a ton of tests on this little cat here, changing all kinds of different settings. And what I'm going to show you, is going to result in something pretty good. So what I do want to do here is adjust the grayscale just a little bit. I want to make some of the whites just a little bit brighter. 
again, I wouldn't recommend doing this right away. I would engrave it as is and then go back and adjust. You're always going to want to test a bunch before you get that perfect result. So now we can hit confirm. Over here on the right, you can see that because this is an image, I only have one option for processing. So there's no options for cutting or scoring. It's just engraving. But I still can change the power and speed. A good rule of thumb for engraving a photo on wood is low and slow. So I am going to choose power of 55, speed of 158. And now we can start engraving. So a few things to keep in mind here. I am engraving on a piece of three millimeter basswood. This particular one has a good amount of grain to it. And I'm engraving horizontally with the grain. And you'll notice that although this came out pretty good, you can see those grain lines through the image. So let's try it again on a different piece. This is graved, ver engraved vertically. And on the back, this is engraved horizontally with the grain. Very, very smooth grain on this one. And it turned out pretty well. Just a reminder, all of this is basswood with all of the same settings for the three on the far right. Really, really important to start with the basic settings and then adjust for your specific piece of wood because it's going to vary so widely. Let's do this same image engraved on a piece of metal. So this is just a black metal business card. I haven't changed anything with this image yet, but we need to go in and do that. So we're going to select our material. And then go into image processing. I'm going to stick with Jarvis because if you remember the harder that the material is, you Jarvis is going to work the best. What's nice about a piece of metal is that there is no wood grain to worry about here. Anytime you are doing a dark background, you need to invert your image. On that piece of basswood, the light color from the wood was able to shine through, and then we just engrave darker. But here, since we're doing this on a black piece of metal, we need to invert so the light parts become dark and the dark parts become light. I'm going to leave this grayscale adjusted just a little bit because I really like the contrast over here on the side of the image. Then we'll confirm that. And then for settings on metal, you can go a little bit faster. I've done it at slower speeds, and I found that about a power of 100 and a speed of 305 gives me a pretty detailed look. So we can go ahead and start this. I love engraving on dark materials because you get such crisp, beautiful images. This is a great place to start and then go back into that software, slightly adjust your grayscale, your sharpness and your contrast until you get the perfect settings for your image. This video gave you a good overview of how to engrave photos using your Vista and the Make It software. I wanted to walk you through the steps for photo engraving. Biggest piece of advice is to start with those basic settings, do a test, and then go back in and adjust your settings until you get the perfectly engraved photo that you're looking for. If you want more We Create videos, take a look at the description. I've got lots linked down there. And if you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I'm here every week with new videos to help you move forward in your creative journey. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.